a warm welcome to our final assembly for term one. Please let us rise for the singing of the national anthem. start of the year to welcome new staff to the campus and to begin our A-level programme. It was lovely to see so many students who had achieved excellent IGCSE results return to begin either a BTEC or an A-level programme. Miss Kariuki, who joined the Runda team to lead the sixth form, is delighted with the progress to date. Our theme, Reaching Out, has been embraced wholeheartedly by all sections of the community. Talks in assemblies, discussion topics during our global citizen sessions, and reference to reaching out into the community during service learning help us all to act as responsible, supportive human beings. The arts continue to thrive in school. It has been a busy term for the music department with a whole array of activities. They hosted an instrumental zoo to inspire students to learn an instrument at the start of the term. Large part of the school population are taking virtual peripatetic lessons, which is amazing. The carol concert showcased some amazing talents and some real potential in our students. Well done to Mr. Sell and his team. PrEP students have embraced virtual learning wholeheartedly and have adapted beautifully to the new normal. Attendance has been at over 90% every day, which is remarkable, and students have made great progress. We are delighted with the efforts and enthusiasm shown in our inter-house activities and the extra events like our author celebration or our challenge competitions. We wish all of the PrEP students a well-earned Christmas break and look forward to welcoming them back to school in the new year. As always, my grateful thanks to all of the teachers this term for their hard work, creativity and dedication to making learning exciting and challenging. I'll now hand over to Mr Luter to report on the senior students. We are pleased to welcome Mr. Jim Wild to the Brookhouse community. Mr. Jim Wild will be taking on the role of head teacher at the Runda campus starting in January. We are also pleased to note that the hybrid delivery of the curriculum has enabled our students to progress to the next academic level and the successful start of our first sixth form class at the Runda campus. In the course of this term, we've had informative and engaging year assemblies led by the head of years, career talks, virtual university fairs, and we've continued to offer a range of club activities, including MUN, World Scholars Cup, STEM, Environment Club, Chess, among others. In public speaking, both the EAMUN and MSMUN delegations participated in the mock debate sessions, which were all virtual events. The students put in a lot of work doing their research on topical issues and debating in preparation for the main conference next year. We wish the delegations every success as they continue with the preparation for the conferences. In public speaking, 
Both the EAMUN and MSMUN delegations participated in the mock debate sessions, which were all virtual events. The students put in a lot of work doing their research on topical issues and debating in preparation for the main conference next year. We wish the delegations every success as they continue with the preparation for the conferences. The TEDx Youth at Brooker School celebrated its ninth anniversary with a special online event called Changing Currents. The talks were focused on social issues and the students had the opportunity to reflect on topics that are close to their heart. We were also delighted as a school to arrange for the Rhino friendly debates in place of the formal debates. These debates took place virtually and the students demonstrated great skill through the compelling arguments on current conversations about vaccination and climate emergencies. This year, the first speaking competition was a cross-campus event that saw several students, both boys and girls, display impressive talent and the enjoyment of poems on a virtual platform. Our grateful thanks to all the staff and the students involved in these activities. Students have been engaged in a number of activities during their service learning lessons every Wednesday morning. Seeing all these activities was a great sight and a testament to the service learning culture that we've been inculcated in our community. Our gratitude to all the students and staff for their continuous support in this endeavor. We continue to develop environmental stewards through our participation in activities that help and protect the environment. Brookhouse School and the James Modern Academy in Dubai participated in an eye-opening virtual youth climate dialogue hosted by the United Nations Climate Change Lab. The conference touched on various national actions that have been taken in Kenya and the United Arab Emirates to aid in the fight against climate change and its contributors. Throughout the school, another round of wellness talk has been ongoing. This time, we have covered a wide variety of topics such as the importance of goal setting, self-awareness, the negative impact of cyberbullying, and maintaining an attitude of gratitude. These talks have provided an opportunity for our students to discuss issues that pertain to them as they grow in an ever-changing world. Come, they told me, pa-ra-pa-pum-pum -pum. A newborn king to see, pa-ra-pa-pum-pum -pum. Our finest gifts we bring, pa-ra-pa-pum-pum -pum. For the king, pa ra pa pam pam, pa pa pam pam, pa pa pam pam. Shout to honor him, pa ra pa pam pam. Me and my Para pa pam pam I am a poor boy to para pa pam pam I have no gifts to bring para pa pam pam to lay before the king para pa pam pam On my drum On my drum This has been an extraordinary year in many ways. 
Not least is the way our tiny tots in early years have adapted so well to online learning. I am incredibly proud of them and their teachers and parents. In spite of being a long term, it has flown by with many of our usual activities taking place alongside the daily teaching and learning. We have even managed to continue with our cookery classes, which have been a real favourite, as well as all our other specialist subjects. We started off our first ever virtual curriculum meetings, introducing the parents to their children's new class teachers. These were very well attended and very useful. I have attended some fantastic wellness and health talks by our counsellor and health manager, both for the children and the parents. These have both been important and useful during these times. Wonderful assemblies have continued on a weekly basis with rewards being handed out for exceptional achievements. Even the tiniest of the children have stood up to join in the national anthem at the beginning of these. The children have been working on different service learning projects and have produced some wonderful and useful gifts for the children at our partner schools. And I know these will be really appreciated at Christmas time. The children have managed to rise to the challenge of doing online performances this term. The year two performance afternoon saw a selection of poetry being recited. And the term culminated in the little ones performing in an online version of the Nativity. We look forward to next term when we will be able to welcome all the children back into school. Despite not being in physical school uh, for the first part of the term, we've managed to continue running fun-filled and exciting inter-house events from spelling bees to quizzes and even sports competitions. The second half of the term had us modifying the events to suit both the learners in school as well as those who were at home. As you all are aware, every competition requires you to take part and that contributes to the full house events. I would like to take this opportunity to announce the results for the various competitions we've had this term so far. Interhouse Prep First Speaking was won by Mara House. Interhouse Senior Verse Speaking Competition was won by Mara House. Interhouse Cookery, which took place in the prep, was won by Amboseli. The Year 7 and 8 Spelling Bee was won by Savo House. Interhouse Prep Dance Competition, an exciting virtual event that we hosted for the first time, was won by Mara House. Interhouse Question of Sport, also a very exciting uh, hybrid version of an interhouse competition, was won by Mara House. Now to the academic house points. For prep, the winners were Mara House. The academic house points for senior school, the winners were Amboseli. When we combined all the results together, we ended up with an overall uh, winner being Amboseli. I am delighted to see so many of you playing your part and representing your houses and displaying the round square attributes such as tenacity, teamwork and communication skills. The overall winners for this term when we've put all these sporting events together were Savo House. Congratulations to Salvo House and all the members of Salvo House. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in physical school next year, ready for more exciting house and sporting activities. As always, there is one last thing for me to say. That is, be safe, stay fit, and Merry Christmas to you all. On behalf of Ms. Forsyth and myself, I wish to offer a couple of quick thank yous to conclude. I wish to start by thanking all the maintenance, support, catering and transport staff for their excellent work around the school throughout the term. To the teachers, our thanks for your tireless efforts throughout the term and for being a committed group of educators. 
And lastly, my thanks to each of you students and to your parents for a contribution to our community and for making Brookhouse such a positive place to be in. To our year 11 students, enjoy your well-deserved break, but continue to study so that you are confident when the mock exam begins in the first week of January. For all our pupils in both prep and secondary school, we shall meet again for the start of the new term on the 5th of January 2021.